Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm sure a lot of us already know this, but school bathrooms are just the, the weirdest places on earth. I mean, you know, you, you go to class, and you, and you like, have to go to the bathroom, and, and the teacher does that, like, excuse where, like, you should have gone during lunch or during your break, and, but then again, why? Like, during your, like, uh, during your breaks is when bathrooms are, like, the weirdest spots ever. You walk in there, maybe there's, like, a couple in there doing something. There's, like, the weird kids. And there's, like, those jocks that are, like, messing with the stalls and throwing things around. It's really disgusting. And I'd like to tell my teachers that, but then they'll, I'm pretty sure they'll just say something back that's, like, that's just, that makes no sense at all. I mean... Really, who uses them? How often do you see one of your classmates or friends actually go and use a bathroom? I refuse to use a bathroom unless it's in an emergency. Like, if I absolutely have to use the bathroom, then I'll do it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll only go in a few cases. I just, normally I just won't go because it's weird. And another thing is how messy they are. How do they get that messy? Like, what what happens during like these passing periods and these lunches? Like, am I missing something? Cause frankly, this is like, dude. And I mean, there's always like those kids that are like really weird, and they're being, and they're like cr trying to crawl under the stall. Like, uh, I heard somebody else tell a story about this. Like, how they like somebody. Oh, I'm going down. Uh, yeah, like they crawl under the stall. It's so weird. Let go of me, stupid dinosaur. And it was really, really weird. I just know bathrooms at schools, it's like that meme. If you ever feel worthless, just remember that schools have bathrooms. Nobody uses them. They're just disgusting. I really don't like them. I, I don't think anybody does. Like, I asked my friends if they ever used the school bathroom, and guess what they said? No, nobody uses it. Like, and it's so weird because what makes you ball up those that toilet paper and yeet it at the ceiling? I mean, you could just be there, go into the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, big, big, there's like a, like a wet piece of toilet paper comes down on you. It's just so weird. What drove you to do that? I mean, really? Bathrooms are already disgusting enough. You really had to do that? Like, dude, in, disgusting. And, uh, alright, let's see. What else can I talk about bathrooms? There's a lot of stuff that can be said about school bathrooms. Maybe too much. I gotta go. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Got it. And, and the thing is, uh, how often they get broken. Like, my school has this, this weird thing with water pressure. It's, like, constantly being broken. I, like, there's this, there's only one 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 uh what's it i forgot what it's called but there's only one thing of water on campus that actually tastes good and like what it's like really hot at school you know you're doing pe you get sweaty and they let go of me and you know you get really sweaty and you like really want water so after pe you go to the water fountain and you you go to take a nice drink of water but i mean you know a lot of the times when you go to use them it's like disgusting water it does not taste good at all and so, you try going looking for another one, and it's like, dude, it doesn't even taste that good. And so, there was that one at school, and so, that was the one everybody would use, and it was broke for for a month, a whole month. That that one did, didn't did work, and everybody was so mad. And, and in fact, I think it was one of my friends that might have done it. They clogged it up, and then they just, they pressed down the button that made the water go and just let it sit there. And the next thing you know, water system's broken for like four weeks, a whole month, which is fairly disgusting, considering all the other water on campus at the time really didn't taste that good. And especially when you had to touch them, they were like so hot. It's so sunny, they get nice, like, like really hot. It's just nobody, nobody wants to touch that. Nobody wants to get third degree burns on their hands. And so that was like the only one people would use. But when it broke, everybody was, like, so mad. 
and, and it even got broke a second time a week after which which peeved people off more because people liked that one it was nice cold water it didn't burn up as fast and these guys need to move gotta go fast and uh back on topic uh, and uh, there's always gonna be something wrong with school bathrooms and you just know it and so and of course there's the problem of people how can I pronounce this not aiming not aiming where they should be I mean half the time I wonder is this really water on the floor is it really water if you know what I mean like thank god I don't slip in it I got like pretty big shoes and you know what's up with the mirrors in bathrooms why do you why do you need them I mean I mean I could see them in the girls bathroom you know they do their makeup in there or something so I've heard but then again why do you in the boys bathroom I mean the only thing that happens to them they get scratched foggied up and you like these the people in there they throw wet toilet paper balls at them oh what the four balls on fall ball what it's just really disgusting. I really don't understand why why you needed to vandalize the mirrors. It really makes no sense. Yeah, launch it this way. Thank you. Up. Uh, there, there. Yeah. And it and uh, the bathroom stalls themselves. I mean, still very disgusting. Oh, scored on. Let's go. Wow, that was my first score in fall ball. Neat, neato. We have two coming at you. Ooh, that's two in a row. Oh. And um, these stalls. What happens to them? Like, why did you need to do this again? I mean, you got the people writing messages on walls. And it's like, it makes no sense. And, you know, I don't know what they, uh, and there's these weird things about going in groups to the bathroom. Like, why? Why again? Explain. Like, I'm watching whole groups of boys and girls go to the bathroom like, what? But why? Why do you need to do that? It's really, really weird. I mean, you see girls do it all the time, you know, they walk in for perfect formation. And it just, it gets really weird. Come on, anybody? No, nobody's protecting that. Wow, they're. Oh wait. Oh yeah, are we winning? Or yeah, yeah, we're winning. We're winning. All right, and especially, you know, you always see the girls doing it, not not the guys most of the time. But at my school, you see it happen really often. It's like a group of tall, really tall eighth graders, and they just walk in like groups of five or something to the bathroom. It's I don't, I don't really understand it anymore. And, I mean, I walked into the bathroom once. I, like, really had to go. And there was three kids T-posing in each stall. We only got three stalls. And they and there was three kids T-posing in them. And whenever somebody tried to pee in the urinals, they would look over the stalls. Like, dude. <laughs> it's always, like, these disgusting people doing that stuff. It's like, really? Okay, Fall Mountain. Uh, what else can I talk about about school bathrooms? I mean, when oh, there's that whole thing about high school high school students blowing their bathrooms up with firecrackers, it makes for good meme content on Reddit or whatever. But really, I mean, you're just in the bathroom, you know, you know, you're ditching class, and the next thing you know, big pop. And the entire the the entire toilet next to you is non-existent now. It it's like gone. It's shattered into pieces. And it's like then there's the thing like people leave their stuff in the bathroom for some reason. I really don't know why. Like really, that's gonna go up. And, oh well, that was fast. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all I have to talk about for today's video. You know, just had a rant about these bathroom stall stuff. I was inspired by EDP. You know, that guy EDP445. 
if you know him, he's a really funny guy. He makes really good content, and I just wanted to give my perspective on it. It's it's really weird. Oh wait, isn't it double e X, double XP weekend? This will be easy. And yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you like this video, remember to subscribe, like, and hit the bell if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. And yeah, that's it. See you next time.